For this week's Know Your Enemy, we have RJ Ochoa, manager and editor of Blogging the Boys. And Giants fans, Cowboys fans, they already know and hate each other already, RJ. So uh, how we do things, we're going to break down Monday night's matchup from you guys' point of view. You ready? Of course. No, thanks for having me. Um, it's exciting to have a Cowboys-Giants game with some juice. It's been a little bit since that was the case. Especially on a Monday night, baby. Primetime football. So let's talk about the Cowboys' defense first. It's the strength of the team. Six sacks against the Bengals. So how do you see this Dallas D matching up against the Giants' offense? Honestly, I think Cowboys fans are, are most excited about the prospect of Daniel Jones. Um, with all due respect, he, he's a quarterback that's certainly been prone to turnovers. Uh, the Cowboys defense has, has been something that's kind of been their calling card for a little bit over a year now, certainly in, in the Micah Parsons era. And while there were not uh, a ton of takeaways or haven't been a ton of takeaways through the first two weeks of the regular season, the Cowboys have, have found a way. Uh, regression to the mean has always been something that, that we've expected from, from a turnover standpoint. But six sacks, as you mentioned um, last week against Joe Burrow, that, that goes a long way toward mitigating the lack of takeaways. The Cowboys allowed under 300 total yards. Uh, and, and kind of kept their offense in the game, which is something that everybody sort of figured was the recipe for this season, especially once the Dak Prescott injury happened. So uh, Micah Parsons is kind of the leader, but there are a lot of talented players on Dan Quinn's side of the ball. Man, you don't have to say no disrespect, man. Giants, <laughs> trust me, Giants fans are going to disrespect Cowboys fans. Like, it's just, it, they hate each other. The two franchises hate each other. But let's get back into Micah Parsons. The dude is a dog. He's going up against left tackle Andrew Thomas, who who's the highest graded tackle according to PFF. And when he switches sides in the pass rush, he's going against rookie right tackle Evan Neal. Who wins this matchup? I don't know of, of a tackle that I would take over Micah Parsons, right? Like just kind of straight up um, in, in the NFL, certainly over the course of a game. My, Micah's going to get hits, and, and that's something that is, is sort of an inevitability at this point in time. And, and what's more is he's going to open up opportunities for everyone else. Again, had the two sacks, but there were four non-Micah Parsons sacks that came as a result of it. Leighton Van Der Esch um, on his second one-year deal, or, or rather in a contract year for the second year in a row with the Cowboys, he had a sack last week against Joe Burrow that was sort of a direct result from Micah, although I don't want to take away a ton of credit from Leighton. But um, Micah is, is going to ensure that the Cowboys defense eats, that the Cowboys defense gets stops. And, and unlike the Bengals, I, I do think that the Giants and, and Daniel Jones are a little bit more prone to turn the ball over. And so I really like Evan Neal. Uh, I think his future is really exciting. And I do think that the future is much brighter for the Giants than it's been in a long time. But, but as far as who those, those players are and who these teams are today, I will definitely take Micah Parsons in those matchups.